everybody, Ariella here. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Fairy Tale, the main theme from Fairy Tale, which has been covered by like everybody, every violin person. And I've had a couple of requests on how to play it. You can download the sheet music right here if that would be helpful for you, which it probably would be. Because basically, the way that we're going to break down this song is going to be a little bit of a long tutorial because there's a lot of sections. Okay, so we've got it starts with the first section, second section, third section, then you go back to A, then you go back, there's a fourth section, and then you go back to A again. So basically, A, B, C, A, D, A. That's basically the way that the song is set up, so there's a lot of sections, and we're going to learn them all, and let's get to it. First note that we have is a third finger on the A string. No, four, three. No, two, low two. A. Third note finger on the D string. A, C, three, two, three, four, three, two, open. Third finger on the D string. A, two, first finger on the E string, low first finger. Okay, third finger on the A string. Four, three. It's two, zero. Three on D. A, two. Three, two. First finger on the E string, low first finger. Four, three. Four. Three, two. A, two, three, two. Low one on E. E. Let me play through that for you. And I'm gonna put my computer notes right in front of me so that I have them, so that I can play exactly how it's played. Watch what I'm doing with my bow, because that's what you're gonna be doing with your bow as you're, you know, as you learn it first. Learn the fingers, then apply the bow once you're feeling pretty confident with the fingers. That's the order of things the way we do things here. repeat it over and over again because that's the way that good themes go is that you want to hear them again and again and again let's go to the B section open D one two one three two four three two one zero one two one three two four Three, two, one. D. One, two. One, three. Two, four. Three, two, one. Three on A. E, and then one. Remember, it's a low one. E. Two. One, three. Two, one, zero. Second section, let's do it. Let me tell you something, all right? And uh, this is something that I hope that you've noticed by now in this specific tutorial, but there is a lot of repetitive stuff. And because there's a lot of repetitive stuff, you gotta, you know, notice where it repeats itself. And the sheet music will help if you know how to read sheet music, then that will help you with being able to figure out where all those repeats go. And, um, but it's very important to know when things are repeating themselves so that you're not going over the same thing and be like, what is this? And every time, it's the same thing. So learn it once, then realize when it repeats. Section number three. Third finger on A. Third finger on E. Third finger on E. One, two, three. Now put your second finger, it's a pretty low second finger, between the A and the E string and play second finger on E and then on A. Now one on E, low one. E. Three. Fourth. 
three, third finger in E. Now stretch your fourth finger. Now three, four, three, one. Two on E, two on A. One, low one on E. Now guys, there was a stretch there, right? Now that stretch, if you're already well versed in second position, which is really no big deal, all you're doing is shifting your hand up oh, a little bit, which probably happens anyways all the time because when you squeeze the shoulder, when you squeeze the neck of the violin just a tiny bit, then you end up like moving forward. So basically an alternative, an alternative fingering there would be three, third on E, now replace that third finger with your second finger and play four, two, one, and shift back. If you're playing with shifting and if you don't want to stretch your finger there, which stretching is fine, shifting is fine. Shifting allows you greater capabilities from vibrato than, shift, than uh, stretching does. So that's, uh, that's one little thing. Now I'm gonna play it for you. is go back to the video I'm gonna put a link right here see this click on this if you don't know how to do this ending yet it's the ending the same exact ending as the second section so you're gonna play the same exact thing and I'm not gonna say it again deal okay so now then we have the it goes back to a and now we're gonna do the D section actually I thought it was gonna be such a long tutorial but in the end it's not such a big deal right no big deal Make sure to have the sheet music and practice with the sheet music and you have me if you want to, you know, watch what I'm doing with my fingers in order for that to be more helpful for you and it's not that hard. You can do it. Third finger on the A string. Then no fourth finger. First finger on E low. Four, three. Low on A. Low two. Third finger on E. Two, one, two, three, two, one, zero, three, four, three, four, one on E. Now keep that fourth finger down and the third finger also because then you can just play four, three. Now, two, open on A. Stretch that fourth finger on the E string. Three. Two, one. Two. Three. Two. One, zero. Three. A, one. E, and then E, one. Two. Section D, section D, section D. We're gonna do the fourth section now. Let's do it, guys. Let's do fourth section. All right, now like I said here, I would suggest to you, because it's only one specific note that you're stretching your fourth finger on the E string, just stretch your finger. But what stretching means is not shifting. Now when I'm playing with a first finger, here in the first position, and then a third finger, and I want to stretch. This is stretching, okay? Stretching is not allowing this finger to move forward. That's called shifting, and if you want to stretch, you stretch. And if you want to shift, you shift. You don't mix those two things because it gets very confusing as to where exactly you are, and if your ear is not super in tune yet, then What's going to happen? Your ear is going to screw you up and you're not going to end up back in first position and nobody is going to recognize whatever it is that you're playing. So, 
It's a problem. It's a problem. Okay, so stretching is like this. And only stretch your pinky finger. Work on that. Keep your other fingers down. Okay? Keep your if you're playing the note right before that fourth finger is an A on the um is an A on the A string, so that's an open finger, which is a little bit of a problem. So put your third finger down on the E string then, and then put your fourth finger down. Stretch it down. Alright? Now that you know I'm zoomed out so you can see that a little bit better. Very, very important. Okay, it's a very important thing because it's something that I see a lot, especially in beginners, that people, you know, that I want them to stretch their finger and instead the whole thing the whole hand goes by, the whole thing collapses, everything is a little bit funny. So it's a problem. Okay? So section D. below. Why is there a comment section below? There's a comment section below so you can ask me what to play next. And listen, I do things according to votes. I don't do according to individual um, requests because I get a lot of individual requests. But, you know, if a couple of people ask me for something or if I like something particularly a lot, then I will do a tutorial. And when I do a tutorial, you all win. So make a comment in the comment sections below and, uh, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Make sure to share this video with your friends so you can all play it together. And then we can play it together, and I can play it together, and you can send me videos so I can bask in the pride and all of my amazing international clientele students. And uh, in any case, have an awesome day, guys. Let me know what you want to learn next.